So I'm out here again. It's the next day. So that first video was yesterday. And this is, I'm pretty sure it looks done now. So I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is. This is like blood red right here. And then that's like kind of orangish right at the tip of my fingers. And then it kind of just goes normal um, leather color. Anyhow, so uh, about an hour or so ago, uh, I had the bright idea to pour rubbing alcohol on it because <laughs> I, I had some rubbing alcohol I needed to get rid of. And anyhow, I thought it was a bad idea, like right after I did it. Because <laughs> where it's nice and red like this it started to like turn orange and I was like oh no I don't want to lose this beautiful red anyhow it, it didn't lose it thankfully I don't know if you can see it but it's nice and red still but where it got down here it like patterned this and like like so right at the tip of my finger is where alcohol ran down and then now at the tip of my finger, that's what didn't get alcohol on it. Where it had alcohol on it, uh, it is like sunken in. So like th this is like bumpy now. It's not smooth. This is smooth. This is bumpy. And it looks sick. I think so at least. You got this beautiful red little fade to orange and then BAM <laughs> anyhow completely uh, experimental there so uh, I'm about to run to the store but uh, when I get back I'll probably just cut it right where the fade starts to happen right about at the tip of my fingers there and then I'll do that other side of it uh, and so just to illustrate how much oil uh, I put into this that helped uh, give it this beautiful burn, uh, it has gone through this, <laughs> and so this is darker, and then this is a piece of leather that I just put, put here to protect my windshield from getting oily all over it. Anyhow, it got stained so much too, you know. So that's how much oil or petroleum jelly, which is petroleum, which is oil. So I'm not wrong. So that's how much oil I put on the front side of this is it seeped through. So, and I, I was just getting rid of that petroleum jelly because uh, I didn't need it. I bought it a year and a half ago because uh, being a chainsaw carver you get sawdust in places you don't want sawdust and you end up chafing and that's no fun so I bought bought that petroleum jelly and uh, it didn't really fix the situation so I just had it kicking around for a while in fact it was in my truck all last winter uh, and then I moved it into my storage unit and I was like, oh, well, maybe I can put this to use just yesterday. And I did. And it turned out beautifully. I'm so happy I did it. So, yeah, after I get back, I'll cut this where you can obviously see that the oil is at and not at. So, and then I'll tan, so to speak. I'll tan that side of the leather and I'll probably also tan this you know so and see that that's how much oil I put on it it went all the way through two two things of leather so <laughs> just kind of ridiculous there also uh, I I kind of sprayed the like I squoze the rubbing alcohol out of the bottle and it put all those splashes on that, which I think that kind of looks cool. Uh, I'm going to see if I can 
replicate that too, maybe with a different piece of leather. I've got more leather that I really don't need. <laughs> so, uh, if I ruin it, uh, I was going to give it away anyways. So, if I ruin the look of it, you know, I'll give it away and someone that uh, maybe doesn't care about what it looks like can use it. I was also thinking, uh, since I've worked with leather before, and I've seen these elsewhere, that people have made earrings out of leather and uh, like necklace pendants and whatnot. So I think that I'm going to try that. You know, I, I like to make money and I'm not very good at it, so, but I'm good at making things. Uh, so I think I'll try and make money doing that also. That's all for today. Uh, it is the 8th of July, and this is Matt Farley with Treetown Chainsaw Carvings. God bless.